Hey guys, Rob D here again. It's a 2005 5.9 liter Dodge Cummins. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, tone ring modification. Uh, for those of you guys that don't have a uh, electronic tuner, this is a way that you can gain a couple of degrees of timing advance uh, mechanically. Now, if you do have an electronic tuner, uh, it's not a necessary mod because you can just do it electronically. But basically, um, this is your uh, harmonic balancer and right here you have what's called the tone ring you have the uh, crankshaft position sensor and there's that flat spot with no teeth on it when that passes that tells the engine uh, that you're at a certain spot on the stroke um, basically we're gonna take this uh, harmonic balancer off we're gonna slide the tone ring off and there's a uh, stop that we're gonna grind out that will allow you to rotate that tone ring a little bit and that'll gain you a couple of degrees because it'll uh, kind of fool the engine into thinking that the engine's a little bit ahead of where it's actually at. Um, so the first thing you got to do is, uh, well, for for me, I remove the um, the serpentine belt. That's the minimum of what you're going to have to take off. I'm in the middle of a different repair, and I just wanted to show this. I'm actually going to undo my tone ring mod because I have a tuner. Um, but the tools you'll need to get that balancer off are a 15 millimeter breaker bar and a 15 millimeter ratchet. Basically, you're gonna use the breaker bar to get up here and brace itself against that uh, fan shroud mount. And then you're gonna take the uh, 15 millimeter socket and just go through and untighten the uh, harmonic balancer bolts. I've already um, broken those loose for this video uh, just to make it a little easier and um, you're gonna have to kind of wrestle back and forth with it because um, you're using one bolt to help loosen the other so you kind of have to find a sweet spot of uh, bolt tightness there where you're able to rotate this thing around and get those bolts off but that's basically how you do it so once you uh, once you get those bolts loose just pop them out And we'll take a little pause here because you don't need to watch me unscrew those four bolts. Alright, so got all the bolts out and this guy's just going to slide off in a perfect world. phone down and get two hands on this thing for a second. Alright, so that's all it took was getting two hands on it. This thing's kind of heavy and uh, it just wants to be supported when it uh, comes off. Uh, you don't need a pull or anything, or at least I didn't. So there it comes. Oh. And there's your tone ring right there. And you can see that little dowel pin there. Um, that's kind of what holds it in place holds it in the right position. Um, so we'll take that out. Um, it might be kind of hard to see there, uh, but I ended up using a chainsaw file um, to kind of file that down. And looking at it, you file the right or the left side off uh, a little bit just to let it rotate. Um, a tooth or half a tooth over. I think each tooth on this is two degrees of timing. Um, so obviously you can't go too far with it. <clears throat> and basically you're just taking, you're making a little slack where the dowel pin goes, just so it can go up against the uh, the far left side on the bolts, because you're not going to be able to turn it farther than the bolts go. And then when you reinstall it, you're going to turn it up against those bolts. On, so you want everything on the left side of the bolt. Uh, in the direction that you shaved off the uh, excess from and then you're going to tighten everything down and just re reinstall in reverse order and uh, you should have picked up a couple of degrees of timing off of that so that's the uh, the tone ring mod uh, and that's how it works so hopefully you find that uh, useful if you do please hit the subscribe button and uh, share this video also give it a, a thumbs up so this is Rob D with the tone ring mod on a uh, third generation 
5.9 liter Dodge Ram Cummins truck.